Hello friends, today we will work on FREP and how to set up. First, you will have to download it from Google Play Store. You can install it in your Android phone or in a computer in an emulator like Knox, LD Player or Bluestack. So here we will search and download for, for full functionality you can have the key <coughs> for key if we search we can have the unlock key which I already have installed so after installing we can go and open FRIP app it will ask for root permission if you have rooted your phone uh, mine is rooted so I will grant the root permission if it is not successful in here go to your root manager and inside root manager you can give the permission after it have root permission you just have to go and recheck for root status and it will automatically detect the root after root we have two steps to go on to activate FRIP click here and search for FRIP and allow for display or other apps now go back and go for the second step for the FRIP accessibility settings and here we have to go to download apps some mobile phones will have a different menu so you have to find it and from here we will just give the permission okay after we have to press back and back and one more time and now we will see for approved service running if we don't have this pre-approved service running there is something wrong sorry for the noise after the pre-approved service running is ok now we have to do some initial setup in initial setup the first thing we have to do is calibrate input and here you can find it in the three dot menu and calibrate input we will say start calibration so for the first step it says tape so we tape one time and for the second step it says from start to end so we will click and drag from start to end for the long press sometime it have a little bit issue so the long press is you have to click and hold for a second and just move a pixel and for the third it's the same as the second step uh, so we just drag in for the double we have to double click it and we start test for how we did it for if the result is good it will show like this if not it will look like sorry uh, if the result is bad let me show you how it will look like so if something goes wrong like if I click here and there and I just tape a few times and I just make some crazy shit and 
and like at different places and then start test you can see the lines going slow and the things will mess around which is not good so to have a good calibration you have to try a few times before tape save so we have to do it one more time just to be sure that our calibration is nice and almost perfect so we don't face some more issues so first just tape and do the setup and just like this and start test and we see if it's working fine or not now I think this is about okay so tape save after that now on the screen we have a few options so for record settings for my choice uh, I like to have a till gap with two seconds options for uh, Nox for phone you can either go with simple till gap or progress we will explain this in the next video but for Nox I would suggest you use till gap with two seconds now next we have to go to options in options the first thing we want to do is we have to go to console settings and here you can change the settings a few settings which is for my personal liking I have I can choose my console size now I will leave it as a default before I show you how it will look like so we don't have anything to show so first we come here and console settings and we go here and select PNG notify on success and now if we go back we will get the flip button here now if you don't see any button on your home screen just drag your notification menu and here we have we can see flip and tape to show we can click on it and flip will show us our buttons here we have it I will keep it here now I think this button is a little bit too transparent and too big so here we can have some settings for it in console settings so mostly I like the size to be at 80 percent and my font size to be at 11 and I want it to be opaque it's my personal liking some people like it some people don't so whatever you like you can for list on flicking I will show you it's a nice feature and some people don't like it so you can just go and disable it from here but I will keep it as it is let me show you how the buttons will look like now it's a bit small and it don't take a lot of space on my screen now let's go back into flip and have some more settings so we go to play and record settings for troubleshooting I would just keep these two on and for normal playback I would just like them to be off so 
I will just keep them off for now. If I have any problems, I can just activate them. And after I go and troubleshoot, I can go and uncheck this. For the other settings, you can just leave them as default. For screenshot settings, now here is something to remember. On phones, we can go with screen API, which works a bit faster. And with Knox, we have to go with auto BMP, which is this one. But as I will be recording my screen and I cannot use screen API at both places and my screen recording and using prep. So I cannot use the screen API at this time. So I will be using auto BMP and we can go back. We can leave all the other settings as it is for Knox. We have one additional settings which we have to go here and we drag down and we just uncheck detect keep pushing because on Knox it have a weird issue while recording so this help fix that issue a little bit so this was the initial setup for FRIP. See you in another video.